has to be an easier way to set up these bods. There has to be a way. Look, they're playing Dead Space, topical. Can give it to shit. Can it impact those shins, bro? Like you don't even understand. Like I don't even play this fucking game, and I'm just like, I just, I just want to play waifu game, and I'm just like, now I'm gonna have like a fucking week's backlog, and I'm not, I'm not actually opposed to it, um, but I, I, ugh, it's okay. These are bite sized enough, and I'm fucking having a blast. Hi, React channel. If you're curious why this is so chaotic, uh, I, I aim to be as chaotic as a business blaze. Not that I'm affiliated with Simon in any way, but I sure as hell would love to be. <laughs> So, anyways, uh, don't worry, they know <laughs> the shortest Genshin stream. Bro, it's going to be like five minutes of me fucking just like playing Amber, clapping some fucking Halo Charles. That's about it. I'm No, I'm not rewording that either. <laughs> so, we are watching more of this Mike Burnfire. This is absolutely amazing. I absolutely love military shenanigans. Not that I'm military myself. I could not pass fucking basic. Um, talk... Talking with local Cav Scout, talking with local people that were in the military, just absolutely fucking love it. And you assume that I'm at the point in Genshin where I can gamble, and I'm not just fucking around with Amber in some random part of the map that I shouldn't be. You, you assume too much. So let us uh, c continue with this campfire story shenaniganry. Um, oh my god, I already see camos involved. Oh, it's gonna be fucking great. Here we go! You ever notice stupid people have a smell? <laughs> Why, no, I had not noticed. <laughs> oh, that's a thing to open up with. No. You know, I, don't, I don't go to people and smell them and go, wow, you smell dumb. No, I'm just I'm just saying, like, <laughs> stupid people usually smell bad. Uh, well, if they're stupid, they probably don't know enough about personal hygiene. But I also kind of want to believe... It's break great. There's just a ghoul in the fucking background here. Oh, my God. Believe that stupid emits a smell? <laughs> I don't know. I don't smell anything right now when I'm with well, you. I'm, I'm just saying, like, the next time you're waiting in line at a gas station or something... And the guy in front of you is like, Yeah, I just spent $75 on scratch-off lottery tickets, and I won $13. That's a net gain. Give oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, these people exist. Oh, my God. Like, yeah, they're because they're like... And, and it's actually a fucking problem with some people, because they're like, Oh, look, I, I paid 250 for this ticket, and I got 10 bucks. That's a fucking win. My brother in Christ, you just dropped 200 on this fucking lottery. That is like... So far negative, it's not. You are so far on the red, it's not even funny. Give him a sniff. He'll smell terrible. <laughs> He'll probably smell like <laughs> chewing tobacco and alcohol. Oh God, probably. <laughs> I had a squad leader in the military who oh smelled God. like bad Taco Bell meat. It... Hold the fuck up. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was not prepared for this. <laughs> it was like Taco Bell meat that has gone bad. Uh huh. And. He always would end up running at the front of formation anytime we would run. And people, the person who was right behind him would always end up being like, oh, no, leg cramps. I'm going to fall out to the back of the formation. So it would just be everyone that was behind him would just end up rotating until – just keep rotating. Person in the front, all the way back. Person in the front, all the way back. I don't know if you were trained for this, but in Puli training, we had Indian runs. Now I know what they were preparing us for. Yeah, it was pretty much that. It's exactly that. I think he got yelled at by our chain of command because uh, there were so many people that went to our leadership and were like, yeah, uh, Sergeant X smells like rancid taco meat. Can you <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh. oh, that's a good one. I'm using that now. Holy shit. <laughs> you just walk up to him, right? You just walk up to him and you say it with a straight fucking face. It's like, what are you saying? What'd you just say? <laughs> You're just with a straight face. Yeah, dude. I can't, I can't say it with a straight face. You're just like, D dude smells fucking awful. He smells rancid. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't. <sighs> Make him take a shower. Well, apparently, he was homeless for a very long period of time. Uh, surprisingly, a lot of military men are. Yeah. <laughs> But none of the branches teaches you how to manage your money or have a good social no, oh, life. Oh, God, no. Oh, God. Why would they teach you any of that stuff? Just get drunk. Who cares? <laughs> oh, my God. So my goal as a... As, I don't know. If, I'm trying to put Faustian bargain in there, but that's not how that works. Uh, my goal as uh, misguided as it may be is to have some... Uh, to have a tolerance to drink with the Navy. Um, and I'm being told... 
by person that was in Cav Scouts, by people that were in or around the Navy. You don't drink with the Navy. The Navy doesn't know how they drink like the Navy does. <laughs> this this is my misguided attempt. It, yep. Oh my god. The most scared I've ever been. Why is the ghoul twitching? Probably when I crapped myself sitting on a toilet. <laughs> what? Oh my god, I can't. I can't. It's my brand of humor because it just comes right out the gate fucking swinging. Just no punches pulled. To be fair, oh my god. the toilet is the best place to crap yourself. <laughs> but I crap myself because we started getting mortared. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did, did the fear cause you to void your bowels? I was sitting in a porta potty. Oh, no. It was very, very hot. Oh. I just have to do this as fast as possible so I don't have to spend any time in this yes. sweltering porta potty. Porta potties in the desert are actually very, very hot. They are incredibly hot because they're, and they're very stinky because there's no ventilation. And usually, when they come to clean out the porta potty, they just blast the inside of the porta potty with a power washer, so it's always humid in there. And there's never any hand soap. I'm sitting in the porta potty. I'm trying to make my business as quick as possible. And then I hear the incoming siren. The moment I think I'm going to want to be quicker, a mortar impacted, I would say, within a couple hundred yards. The pressure wave of the mortar hitting caused the entire porta potty to flex. Oh. <laughs> There was no shrapnel that was near me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't technically in any danger, but the the walls of the porta potty went woof and flexed after the mortar went off. I no longer had to use the bathroom at that point, and that wasn't because I had tensed up. That was because my bowels had evacuated into the porta potty instantly. I have quite literally had these shit scared out of me. The moment the porta potty flexed. I went, no time to wipe, I gotta go! And just ripped my pants up as fast as I could, kicked the door to the porta potty open, and ran towards the nearest cover I could find, holding my pants up because I did not have time to do all the buttons on my fly or redo my belt. You're gonna get a rash if you don't wipe. The nearest cover I could find was a was an MRAP, uh, mine resistant ambush protected vehicle. The doors for these things weigh about five to six hundred pounds. They're really heavy. I ripped that thing open like it was nobody's business. Hopped straight up into the vehicle, sat down and slammed the door behind me. And I look over, and there is a sergeant who is sitting in the vehicle as well, and he's just smoking a cigar. First time goes, getting mortared, huh? Had to sit, huh? And I said, "Yup." He goes. Don't have to sit anymore? And I went, nope. And he goes, you forgot your hat. And I went, shit. I'm not going back for it. And he goes, I don't blame you. And then neither of us said another word to each other for the rest of the time we were in there. Oh my. I need a second to breathe. Oh my God. breathe for a second that was awful <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I need to breathe on that one okay I think I'm good <laughs> why do the army uniforms always look like garbage <laughs> you can't start out like that you gotta ease me into the shit the Marines had the greens, and we had the <laughs> deserts. Yeah, you had deserts and woodland. Uh-huh. And they look great. Yeah. They look great. They work good. Uh -huh. The one thing I will say about the Marines is their uniforms always look amazing. Uh-huh. Damn straight. They have the best-looking uniforms out of any branch of the military. Indisputable. Uh -huh. Even their dress uniforms. Yeah. I, I think dress uniforms are freaking stupid. Dress I blues, right? It's not the 1600s, and nobody cares about dress uniforms anymore. Uh -huh. I never even had the dress blues. I don't know if you know this, but... You never had the dress uniform? Really? I never had the dress blues. They used to issue them when you got out of boot camp. Oh, yeah. No. And then there was a brief window in 2007 where they didn't do that. Oh, Why? No. Uh, I guess they expected you to buy it yourself. They were low on funds. Any number of reasons. Who knows? Historically, the Marines are pretty much always out of money, so that would make sense. Getting back on topic here, I think that some general in the Army saw a bunch of these Marines walking around the Pentagon, and they were wearing these cool digital patterns, and they went, I just watched the movie The Matrix. I like digital things. I want digital uniform for all Army. Army smart. Army get digital. Be future. I think there was, wasn't there a valid reason for this? Like there was actual valid reason because it works better in like urban environments, like cities and townscapes with like buildings and shit. I think, 
I could be wrong. Someone please provide citation on that. I, I'm crying so hard. My fucking, I, I can't register my eyes anymore. Whew. Um, I think there was a valid reason for this, though. Like how for that very short period of time, the army's motto was an army of one, which is not really conducive when you're trying to have an organization that's built around everyone working together. You're all each individually armies of one. Yeah, it didn't make a whole lot of sense. That got changed real quickly to army Army strong. strong. Army strong. Army Army smack. (laughs) Army low like terrorist. So the army got these digital uniforms and they were such shit. (laughs) Oh, are you talking about the the teal colored digital camo? Yes, the teal colored digital camo that blends in with with that famous picture of a couch and nothing else. It blends in with nothing. UCP is the camo pattern, which is, stands for Universal Camo Pattern, oh, it's not, because though. it universally doesn't blend in with jack fucking shit. <laughs> The camel pattern that Doc Friday has on is a better camel pattern than UCP. You oh. seem to be a big fan of fleck tarn in general. Because it's a good camel pattern and it works. <laughs> There's a reason the German military has used fleck tarn since 1980 until 2017. Oh, did they change it recently? Uh, uh, most militaries are just going to uh, multicam now. Because huh? multicam just seems to work with pretty much everything. Eh. Unlike UCP, which the three colors on UCP are freshly poured concrete, <laughs> sand. <laughs> A color that doesn't exist in nature. <laughs> That's it. it. It might actually work if you're in some kind of urban desert environment. Right, Here's a fun experiment. Put uh-huh. a UCP jacket on one of your friends. Uh-huh. Have them stand three blocks away from you in a city. Uh-huh. And then have a bunch of people walk around. You'll still be able to pick them out. You'll be like, oh, look at that dipshit wearing UCP down there. Oh, my God. If I wasn't worried about offending service members, I'd 100% do this. But I, I don't think I can get a... Uh a jacket tastefully and do this because at the very least I'd feel disingenuous for like if someone's like oh thank you for your service and I'm like I'm just a dingus on the internet but thank you I, that I'm not <laughs> not at that legendary of a level there. Well, of course you will if you're trying to spot somebody in a crowd that stands out the only person wearing camo is going to stand out the, the way logic. camo is supposed to work is it disrupts the shape of a person it's supposed to break up the silhouette the problem with UCP is the squares are all too damn small, so at a distance, you just look like a big teal blob. <laughs> and they, they're not the same color as the background anywhere. There was one other time that I did see it work, and that was when infantry in Iraq would wear the exact same pair of ACUs oh, no. for two months so that they would become crusted with dirt and brown. Ah, yes. And then they would just become khakis. <laughs> The khakis were better camouflaged than the Khaki is a better camouflage. Just straight khaki uniforms or straight coyote brown uniform is a better camouflage pattern than UCP. Mm, That's unfortunate. I suppose it would blend in with other people that were wearing the same pattern. That's not the point of camouflage. (laughs) You just become the gelatinous blob as a collective. No, No, it's not. The army spent five (laughs) billion dollars researching this camo pattern. And it didn't blend in with anything. Dude, that couch, though. Holy shit. Like, they're going to get an Ikea contract and just Ikea, just that furniture everywhere. It's absolutely terrible. It is, in my opinion, the worst military uniform ever designed. And I am putting that over the British military uniform that was just a bright red jacket. That's, that's quite a stance to take. There mm-hmm. is statistical, numerical proof that UCPs got soldiers killed. If anyone has this actual like proof, I would definitely love citations. I always love like citations that prove points. Did you need to get that off your chest? How much you hated the army's uniforms? Big news! They recently changed the pattern. Yes, they are all wearing multicam now. <laughs> Five Is billion it down the four drain. Four colors. They have concrete, dirt, a color that doesn't exist, and red. No, multicam is mud, <laughs> dirt. <laughs> Tree and green. Unless the tree part is a maple leaf in autumn, I don't, I don't see It's just got bright red. It's just got the Canadian flag in just spots on it. Oh Actually, God. they do have that in the Canadian uniforms. They have little There's Canadian little flags. Canadian flags. I know. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. Cad Pat's a great uniform. Why don't we have anything like that in the American uniform? Marines have that. We have the Eagle Globe and Anchor everywhere. Yeah, but, you have the Eagle Globe and Anchor. But that doesn't celebrate america in general we need cheeseburgers on our patterns <laughs> burger little town pieces of bacon and bowls of macaroni and cheese <laughs> why is that the stereotypical american thing for you it's oh true. no it's just bologna and mac and cheese that's oh, like because it's, it's fucking true it is 
<laughs> I said stereotypically American, not stereotypically gross. Fine, baloney and government cheese. Ah. Oh, that sounds awful as someone who's fucking heard about the government MREs. <laughs> not that I've had it. I, I've definitely threatened to eat MREs before, and people just look at me like, no, you, you don't want to do that. Oh my god, I have a headache from laughing that hard. Holy shit. Okay, so we're going to go... <laughs> That's fucking amazing. So here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go... Because uh, if you're on the React channel, thank you for watching. So I I feel like... Because I'm conflicted at this point, chat. Do I go and do the video I fucked up earlier? Or do I continue with this? Because I do want to get to Genshin Waifu time. <laughs> God, everyone on the React channel must be so fucking confused. Like... The fuck does he do in his free time? <laughs> That's like forty minutes. If I do that, I will not get to. I cannot get to Genshin. Okay, cool. If you're on the React channel, this is your uh, adios, your adieu for now. Uh, I will definitely be back next time with another upload. Um, and if you're on the stream, let me go off, go live again, and then uh, try to find the fucking video. Be right back. <laughs>